number 40, Justin Brunley. Brunley. Number 86, Dwight Ramos. And number 97, Kai Soto. And two, Kai Soto and seven foot six. Sam De Guara, definitely. How many times did you see Jun Mark Fajardo playing the four spot? Oh yeah, it, it worked. Oftana. Oh, gets blocked by De Guara. Early offense, this was this nice mid-range jumper. Coming from the Kraken. A 10-time PBA champion. To go down in PBA history. Defended well earlier by Jun Mark Fajardo. He's team around. How many times do you see Jun Mark Fajardo being pushed around underneath? And that's against a 7-footer Kai Soto. Lopez Jr., you saw him when Gilas Going to his left, sandwich on the floor for Gilas. And also a double gold medalist in Southeast Asian Games and in the Asian Games last year. That's right around where national team coach Ronnie. Baskets coming off passes, execution, making sure that the ball moves. Key secret, or rather, key element here in the first quarter. Lopez. The kick out, and that's going to be a turnover for Kandilio. The good commissioner, really Marshawn, and Congressman uh, Uno. Well, helping out. Let's be the important people behind him and decided to show off that jumper. He's been playing great denial on the Guara down low. Kabagnot. Alex Kabagnot able to put in the first field goal. First field goal scored by the Mustangs against Team Philippines. But the region. Third overall for Team Philippines. Nine of the first 17 points from the long board. As the Guara. Bullies is great. He loves that basketball. He knows what to do from there. But the key for the Guaras to get the ball deep and closer to the basket. And Brownlee drops his defender. As him getting to the basket, hard the mass stands will get us between us. The key is to attack the basket, mixing it up from outside and in. Jump left, go right, finish left. Two minutes of game action that Gilas Filipinas had not scored. Let's see if Kai can change it here. Very uh, wise, yeah. defensively. We'll try and get back here in the first quarter. Both Chiu Chu has entered the game. Kabagnot, his signature three. And Alex Kabagnot, Kabagnot, feeling the brunt of that collision. Playing hard, playing extremely well here for the Mastangs. Quarter now of it. Up 22 7. Hurt by a 12 0 run by the Mastangs. But this diffuses the pressure and the tension as Carl Tamayo knocks in the final basket. A three point. This send off friendly between Gilas Filipinas and the Taiwan Mustangs, the visiting team from Taiwan. A lot of three pointers from Gilas, like Coach Ronnie said. But the Taiwan Mustangs being led by Filipino Alex Cabagnon. It's been a showdown, definitely. It's only a six point lead for Gilas Filipinas. Of course, played for. St. Francis of Assisi together with Rendell de Ocampo some years ago. And the good pedigree here for Kai Soto. From the free throw line for 33%. Meanwhile, the Mastangs uh, took in a lot of points with eight of them. The Philippines, a very young unit of the most experienced player here on this squad already would be this man. Talking about Drew. No look pass. From an opponent, a compatriot in the national team. So the best. Now, some of the veteran players of the national team are back on the court. Looking to re-erect a double digit. Wait for DePaul. De Guara missing a gimme after that nice dig. Immediately separated, but there's been some sparks. Wall, talking about Soto and De Guara. But you can imagine this. First half. Nice oh, Aguilar! Evading the defense of the Guara has a much better percentage than Taiwan, but in terms of rebounding, that's where the Mustangs have the, their attempts. They made three out of four attempts as Aguilar. As Aguilar once again shows up, that's Jimmy Alapad, LA Tenorio, among others, Rangel, Rangel Del Campo. He was one of the youngest then. Yeah, that's right. The attacking of Lopez as Brownlee did not get the finish. Tab, Ramos has it. It's Newsom now. Back to Dwight. Extra pass. JB from the corner. Missing it. And Deguara.